Hey there, today I have another Amazon Prime wardrobe unboxing for you. So it's been several months since my last Amazon Prime wardrobe unboxing. So I just so happened to be like on the Amazon website and I noticed they had like some things I hadn't seen before. And like one was like a line of shoes which was called 206 Collective. And I think the name comes from their area code for Seattle. But yeah, so they have shoes and I thought, oh, okay, I like to try the Amazon brands. And so far I've been pretty happy, I think, with the different brands that I've tried from them. Also, besides the 206 Collective shoes, I also ordered some things from Daily Ritual, Lark and Row, and Amazon Essentials. So I've got an assortment of Amazon brands here and <laughs> let's see what I got. So this is really big. Here's my box. And so, Everything comes wrapped in plastic. So it does come with a return mailer and a list of all of the items that are in my box. And it also has the prices. So the prices fluctuate with Amazon. So what I'm getting for the price is just the price that it was when I requested the box. Okay, and then I also have two pairs of these 206 collective shoes that I'm very interested to see how these look and what the quality is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on and I'll come back and we'll talk about it. Okay, so now I've tried everything on and let's go over everything. Okay, and first off, I have this dress. Here it is. And this is by Larkin Row, which is one of Amazon's brands. <laughs> and I got it in a size small. And it's the Larkin Row Women's Classic Cap Sleeve Wrap Dress. So it is a true wrap dress. So which actually, to be honest, isn't necessarily my favorite. I kind of prefer a, a faux wrap dress. But yeah, it's a wrap dress. <laughs> I do really like the print and the fabric is nice. It's a, more of a heavyweight knit material. And it's 93% polyester, 7% spandex, machine wash and it's only $45. So I think that's actually not a bad price for this dress because it is a really nice looking dress. I think the style is very flattering and it also, it says it's Amazon's choice. So yeah, it's Amazon's choice. But yeah, so I got that. And everything I show in this video, um, I'm gonna link in the description box below. Okay, next I got this sweatshirt and it's a gray camo print. You'll see this is what the top looks like. It's just very basic. And it's by Amazon Essentials. And it's the French Terry Fleece Crew Neck Sweatshirt. And it's only $17. And yeah, I thought this was really cute for $17. I probably should have gotten a medium in this because it, it did fit nicely. But it's 60% cotton, 40% polyester. I'm not sure if this is going to shrink when I wash it. But yeah, I think for me, I prefer it just a little bit looser, but it is really cute and not a bad price. Okay, and next I got this top. And this is the Larkin Row Women's Sleeveless Neck Tie Top. And it was $44.50. I got it in the color Champagne. So it's just kind of a nice off-white color and it was very flowy. And it was kind of big. I got it in a size small, but this was huge. I think this would actually be cute. You could wear it over like leggings or jeggings because it's, lo it's longer in the back. It was a little bit sheer though, so you'd probably want to wear like a camisole or something under it. But it is a really soft, silky material and it's 100% polyester and machine washable. Oh, and actually the, the price it says is $45.50. But my price, I got this for $17.80. So, I don't know. I mean, even for $17.80, it just seemed too big. I mean, it's cute, so I'm, I'm kind of debating because that is a really good price for that, this top. Okay, and next, I got these pants. And these are from Daily Ritual, and they're the Women's Sateen Five Pocket Skinny Pant, and they're $29. I decided to size up on these. I got a size 8, but I probably could have just stuck with my normal size 6. They're in the color rose. They also come in a bunch of different colors. And they're 60% tensile, 38% um, cotton, and 2% spandex, and machine washable. So these were actually really nice. And 
you know, I got the size 8. It says it comes in different inseams, but, you know, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's just one inseam, and these are definitely on the longer side for me. So if I were to keep these, I'd have to hem them. So we'll see. I do have a pair of jeans that I got from Liverpool from Mix and Match that are pretty close to this color, so I'm probably going to pass on these, but I do think they're very nice pants for $29. That's a really good price. Okay, and next I got t-shirts. This is a Amazon Essentials. It's a two-pack, and I got a white one and also a, I think it's just a peach colored one, yeah? So they're just basic t-shirts. And it was $16 for two. And I've had some pretty good luck with um, Amazon Essentials t-shirts. You know, I got some printed ones and I really do like them. This one though, the weight did seem a little less heavy. You know, it's a lighter weight. So I got a size medium and it was $16 for two, so $9 each. And it's 56% cotton, 38% modal, 6% spandex, and machine washable. And it is a really, really nice, soft material. It's, like I said, not as heavy, I think, as the other t-shirts that I've gotten from this brand. But, you know, I, I think they're okay. I don't think they're too sheer. These are just kind of nice, lightweight layering pieces. You know, like, it's always good to have a basic t-shirt. So I thought this was a pretty good, pretty good deal. Okay, and next, I got a pair of joggers. Here it is. This is also from Daily Ritual, and it's the women's tensile tie waist jogger for $29, and it, I got a size 6. And this is 100% tensile, or it says tensile lyocell. So here's what it looks like. It does feel nice and soft. I'm not sure how tensile washes, though, because, you know, if it's going to be really wrinkly. Yeah, it just says machine wash, tumble dry, low. These are kind of fun. I like these. So they're in the color olive. They also come in a bunch of different colors, like a dusty rose color. I almost bought that one, but I got this great green one. I think it's gotten pretty good reviews. They're comfortable. I think this would be something that would be nice for like, maybe travel. And it has pockets in the front and back pockets also. But yeah, I think these are, these are nice. And they were only $29, so that's not a bad price, I think, for these pants. Next, I tried a couple pairs of shoes from the Amazon 206 Collective brand. And first, I tried a pair of slip-on white sneakers. And these are actually leather sneakers. They're 100% leather upper, it says. And I got a size 7. I probably should have sized down on this. I don't know. It's, um, it was pretty big. And my price when I ordered it was $37.06. And currently on the website, it's $50. But um, yeah, these were a little big for me. I noticed it does have some padding, but not a lot, you know, to be honest. I didn't think they were that comfortable. Here's what the shoe looks like up close. Um, they were okay. It didn't really wow me. So I don't think I'm gonna be trying to order a smaller size on this. I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> but yeah, so I, I got these and they were just okay. Okay, and also, I've been looking for a pair of booties, so I thought I'd try, they had a pair of ankle booties, and these are the 206 Collective Women's Magnolia Low Heel Ankle Booty, and I got the black suede in a size 7, and the 7 actually fit me pretty well, and this one does say it's Amazon's Choice. It says it's suede, I noticed it does have, looks like it's lined. Here's the interior, you can see it. And here's the boot, the bottom part, and the heel. And it's it's got a one and a quarter inch heel, so it is pretty low. I wouldn't say it was that comfortable, to be honest. It didn't have a lot of padding, you know? So it was okay. My price when I ordered, ordered it was $49.50, and you know, that's not bad for these leather boots. It is Amazon's choice. But I noticed currently on the website it's $99, but um, $99 does seem kind of high just because it didn't feel as heavy, it didn't have the kind of padding. So <laughs> actually since, you know, I've been looking for boots and I ordered this from Amazon like weeks ago. It took, it took a long time. It seemed like longer than usual for them to put my order together. So in the meantime, I was shopping at Nordstrom. 
and I saw a pair of boots there. So I just kind of like impulsively bought them. And here's what I bought. They look very similar. So well, I, I just thought I'd compare them. So they're both a size seven. This is by the brand Blondo and these cost $149. So this one is 206 Collective and my price was 49 so it would have been like one third the price. But I'm, I'm kind of leaning on keeping the more expensive shoe just because these are a lot more comfortable. They're very padded inside. Yeah, they have padding. You'll see the rubber sole. It's, I think it's a lot more secure like when you're walking. It has a slightly higher heel. It's like um, a half inch higher and it's waterproof. So yeah, very similar though. I mean, they look very, very similar. But um, yeah, I was hoping, I had high hopes for these because it's like one third the price. But I think I'm gonna have to stick with the Nordstrom shoes. But yeah, these are by Blondo and boy, these are really comfortable, I have to say. And I got them for 149, but I did have some of my Nordstrom dollars or whatever those bucks are, so I got it a little bit less than that. Um, I'll link it down below, but just an FYI, also I was shopping at, um, online at the Nordstrom Rack and I saw another pair of Blondo boots that were very similar to these, but they were only 99 so I was debating should I return them and get them, but I think I'm just going to stick with these. But I will link everything down below. Okay, so that was everything I got this month in my Amazon Prime wardrobe box and you know overall I'm pretty happy with the Amazon Prime wardrobe service just because it gives you the opportunity to try things on before you buy and um, yeah so I think I'll probably be keeping at least a few things from here I think the shoes were kind of a miss for me which was kind of disappointing but yeah I just thought I'd give it a try and since it was something I hadn't seen before I did really like this dress I thought it was very flattering I'm gonna have to think about this I do have seven days with this Amazon Prime wardrobe and I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about these tensile pants. I'm just not sure how, I hate to iron, and I'm just not sure that it's gonna require ironing, you know, once you wash it. But let me know if any of you guys have experience with tensile <laughs> and if, they, if it needs ironing, because mm, that ironing is like kind of no, no for me. Um, the t-shirts I'll probably keep. I think these are just basic t-shirts it's good to have. I'm not sure about this sweatshirt. I really like this sweatshirt, but I might just try to get a medium. And it, the price was pretty cheap too, so. It was a cute, casual kick around sweatshirt. Okay, but anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of shopping hauls and unboxing videos, and I'm currently trying to think of some other things to do. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> so if you guys have any suggestions of videos that you'd be interested in seeing, just leave me a comment down below. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so if you enjoy watching those kind of videos, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Kaya, say bye. And then Sammy, here we go. Say bye. <laughs> okay, see ya.